have your host, Matthew, everybody. Let him hear it, gang. Look at us. This is a, what a, Jesus, what a hell of a fucking mustache you have, buddy. Holy jeez. What are you, a pedophile? What is going on here with this thing, dude? Can you turn around and show everybody? Can you stand up and... This guy should be playing Mario, not Chris Pratt, okay? It should be this guy here. Holy guacamole, dude. Fucking Mumford and Sons right in the front row. That's cool. Happy to be here. Dude. This is cool. Nice <laughs> to be here, guys. Oh, you have a mustache, too. Look, he, he, his face is like this. Like, you didn't even acknowledge my fucking mustache. So. <laughs> his is better. I'm sorry. His is better. And, um, dude, this is Mario and Luigi right in the front row. <laughs> row dude, this is, are, you with, are you with him? No. And are you with him? Okay, do you like the mustache or no? Yeah, I didn't think I was going to though. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think you were going to? Uh, would, would you have started dating him? Did he have the mustache or he grew it out? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, you just took a chance on it. You're like, maybe it's good down there. Maybe it feels good. <laughs> it's like a Zamboni down there. That's cool. All right. <laughs> All right, fuck. All right. Let's get into it. How you doing? It's good to be here. Guys, uh, happy to be out, man. Just wanna, I'm not just a comedian, guys. I'm not just a comic. I, uh, I'm i also a full-time stay-at-home son. Any of the losers here? Can you <laughs> live at home with mommy and dad. You know you're the loser in your family when your mom describes you with adjectives rather than nouns? Okay? Like when my mom talks about my brother, she'll be like, Oh, he's a pilot. He's an entrepreneur. And then they're like, Luca, he's creative. He's creative? Okay. <laughs> He's a bitch. I don't know what she says about me. I don't mind living at home, though. My dad and I were friends. My dad's very Italian, if you can't tell. My dad's the kind of guy who doesn't speak Italian. He just pronounces Italian words with an accent. <laughs> it means something like this. Like, my dad at a restaurant, he'll be like, you know what? Let me get a bottle of water. Let me get some wine in order of the, uh, get him out, eh? You're like, what the fuck was that? Did you have a seizure? Okay. We're the only white people that do that, do you understand? Okay. Like, there's no German guy walking around right now going, yeah, my car, it's a 2011 Volkswagen! Okay, there's a... <laughs> See, Volkswagen car. <laughs> like living at home. I live with my parents. My grandmother lives across the street, which is kind of overkill. I, uh... <laughs> I love my grandma, though. She's 82 years old and she's on Facebook, my grandma. I love it, okay? I love that she's on Facebook because that's a big confidence booster for me, you know? Like a girl my age, if she wants attention on, online, she posts a picture of herself on Instagram, all her friends are like, get it, bitch, you know? <laughs> Slay queen, okay? <laughs> if I want a confidence booster, I post a picture of me in a suit on Facebook. All my grandmother's friends are like, wow, what a handsome man you've become. <laughs> What a tall drink of water you are! Oh, my dude. <laughs> Fucking slate in a nursing home, okay? You know what I'm <laughs> Love my grandma, dude. My grandma's funny. She's from Italy, which is cool. I've uh, gotten the chance to go over there and see where she's from. And uh, it's cool when you go to a different country, you see people's perceptions of Americans. You know, like I met a guy over there, he thought America was a big movie. Okay, he talked to this guy, he goes, Oh, I love America. I love a Clint Eastwood. I love a Pulp of Fiction. I love a Transformers 3. You're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'd like to bring that guy here, show him the real America, you know? Like, I'd take him to a football game, right? I'd take him to a rock concert. I'd uh, show him Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> and he'd be like, what's in this? I'm like, it's a Transformer. Hi, it's up. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Do we get the jokes, guys? Okay, comedy. <laughs> Mustache liked it. Okay, the guy. <laughs> It's cool. I don't know. I live at home. My parents. It's nice. My mom. I feel like my mom surely believes in my comedy career like 50% of the time. You know, my mom when she does believe in me though, she's all in. She'll be like, Luca, I had a dream last night. You're gonna be famous. One day your name's gonna be in lights. I see it. And then the next day she'll be like, Did you see Amazon is hiring? I'm like, What happened to the thing? <laughs> Did God change his mind? What are you doing here? My mom's very superstitious, but because she's Italian, she has weird superstitions. Uh, like, for example, my mom, she thinks that uh, little people are good luck. <laughs> little people? <laughs> I was in an airport with my mom not too long ago, and a little person walked by, and out loud in the airport, my mom goes, oh, I gotta go touch him. No, you don't. Okay, leave that. <laughs> That's not even a joke, okay? 
Anytime my mom sees a little person, she'll go out of her way and she'll touch him, but she'll pretend like it's an accident. <laughs> so she'll walk by and she'll be like, oh, sorry, sir. And then she looks at me like, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Listen, that could be offensive, you know, because I, I have a friend I went to college with who's actually a little person, you know, and I saw him at a bar not too long ago, and I told him about my mom, told him about the joke, and he laughed, you know, he thought it was funny, but he said, dude, if that's true, you should tell your mom not to do that. Like, I'm a human being, you know, like, like you shouldn't, she shouldn't be touching people out <laughs> the airport, right? And, but we laughed, we had a good time, we shook hands, we had a good night drinking. I uh, ended up talking to this girl, um, and I took her back to my house, my uh, parents' house, and... Uh, <laughs> We had sex, we ended up having sex, mustache, and uh, we, uh, we made love, guys, we made love. And um, the whole time I'm having sex with her though, in my head I'm going, my mom was right, these guys are good luck, okay, these guys. <laughs> I'm bringing this guy in every first date I go on, you understand, okay? Like, hey, this is Steven, he's my pocket pussy magnet, can we get him a high chair? <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> my dad's not very politically correct. My father, my, my dad likes to call things gay that aren't gay. You know? Like, my dad thinks that, like, White Claw, gay, okay? Uh, <laughs> pop music, gay, okay? Me, gay. All right, he goes down the list. <laughs> it gets out of hand, though. Like, my dad, the other day, he told me that he thought wallets were gay. And I was like, Dad, how are wallets gay? And he goes, he goes like this, he goes, Jeez Louise, I gotta get my money out of my little wallet. <laughs> I'm like, I think anything's gay if you say, Jeez Louise before, don't you wanna? <laughs> but my problem with him, he doesn't acknowledge the shit that he does that's gay, my dad. Doesn't acknowledge it at all. Like my dad, with all the stuff going on in Chicago, he's been carrying a gun, okay? But he carries a gun in a fanny pack, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, Dad, you can't walk around armed and dangerous. Like, you can't do both. You gotta pick one. I don't know if he's going to a bachelorette party or what, my father. I don't know. <laughs> he's funny, dude. Italian people are really funny because we all think we're so classy, you know? Like, my whole, all my relatives, they're like, nobody does it like us. We're classy. We're classy, okay? And then the same breath, my uncle will, like, finger a piece of salami into his mouth while drinking a Bud Light. It's like, we're not classy, okay? Like Italian Americans, most of us are just kind of rednecks with better food. That's really all. Which makes a lot of sense because I have a cousin that I think is hot and I don't know what to do about it. And I... All right, that's the best that joke's gonna do. Uh... My mom's always like, I don't like the incest one. I don't, uh... it's not my favorite one. My dad's retired, he's a retired uh, firefighter here in Chicago, which is cool, I like that. Uh, he, uh, he's trying to, it's all right, no, he's not here, fuck it. Uh, I, I, thought, I thought there was gonna be something, no, that's fine. He's trying to stay healthy, which is good, you know? He's trying to cut back on eating meat. He's trying to exercise more, uh, trying to, you know, uh, but it gets out of hand though. Like my dad the other day, he told me, uh, like he, he saw an uh, article online that said if you take Viagra once a day, it lowers your risk of Alzheimer's disease, okay? Mustache, try it out. I don't know. I uh, <laughs> No, but now my dad's just walking around horny and remembering shit. Okay. <laughs> He's coming into every room just like, maybe that time we're in Puerto Rico. <laughs> 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 Physical comedy is cool. Uh, <laughs> hanging out with my mom, my mom, my grandma. They both love uh, watching uh, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let me see the show. Real Housewives. Yeah, okay, a couple of basic bitches. That's cool. Uh, my mom loves this show. I love this show because all these women, if you've never seen it, they have catchphrases. And you can always tell who the crazy women are by the catchphrase that they have, right? Like most of them will be like, you know, friends come and go, but diamonds are forever. Or they'll be like, you mess with my family, you mess with me. But there's always one chick that's like, I'll suck a cock for a Ferrari. And you're like, show me more her. I want to see what she's doing. But my problem with this show is they're never doing any housewife shit. Okay, these women, they're all just getting hammered and arguing all the time, which, which is fine. But like, I would just like to see them clean up around the house or something while they're done. Right, just like, fuck you, Stephanie. Screw you, you're a bitch. Woo! Ninety Day Fiance. That's the only one I can't watch with her. Ninety Day Fiance. You know, uh, if you've never seen the show, it's all these like ugly Americans trying to hook up with this like third world 
Euro trash, okay? <laughs> right? It's totally sickening. I feel sorry for every foreigner on this show, okay? Because all they want to do is come to America and live the American dream, but they got to pretend to be in love with this ugly troll <laughs> to get there, okay? And you can tell they're lying by the interviews, okay? Because they'll be like, why do you love Mark? Oh, uh, I love Mark because he is a good guy and uh, he has good smile and... Uh, like, show me the real interview, you know? Like, why do you love Mark? Why? Because my country fucking sucks, okay? Because his semen is cleaner than my drinking water, okay? You think I want to be in Bosnia? I got to be... And my grandma fucking loves this show, okay? Which I think is so ironic because my grandma grew up in Italy, okay? My grandma, when she was 18, she met my grandfather. They fell in love. He was a U.S. soldier. He brought her back to Chicago. She didn't speak English. She didn't know where Chicago was. But she worked three jobs, raised five kids, all in the pursuit of the American dream, okay? But my grandma will sit there after all this hardship and all this tribulation, and she'll go, oh, these people are fucking crazy. I'm like, you did the same shit! <laughs> the same thing, right? And listen, look, I, like, I never got to meet my grandfather, unfortunately, but I've seen pictures. Not a good-looking guy, okay? He's not... <laughs> If you go back in time and ask my grandmother why are you in love with this man, she'd probably go, uh, he is a good guy and uh, <laughs> he has good smile. <laughs> thank you, appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Try not. Appreciate it. I got half of you there on that one. That's good. <laughs> I don't know. But that was the greatest generation, right? I mean, the, my grandparents' generation. Like, I'm a millennial. They say we're the worst, you know? Like, uh, you know what millennials are really good at? We're really good at rebranding our failure. That's what we're good at. Okay, like, I got a buddy. I'll be like, hey, man, are you homeless? He'll be like, nah, dude, nah. I'm living that van life. Dude, I'm living that van life. You're like, and you're like, are you a drug addict? He'll be like, nah, dude, nah. I'm uh, microdosing mushrooms. I'm microdosing. You're like, okay. you're like, just blow a guy behind that dumpster for $50? He's like, buddy, <laughs> my money's tied up in crypto. My money is tied up in crypto. <laughs> They're like, okay. I mean, my dad looks at me like I'm a sissy, too. You know, he really does. Like, my, like, I really want Disney Plus, but I think I've disappointed him enough. You know what I mean? That's the, <laughs> that's the last thing he needs is for me to come downstairs and see me watching Winnie the Pooh. You know, just like, I'm watching. It's not fucking. I mean, there are people our age go to Disney World with no kids. Okay? You go to Disney World with no kids. That's crazy to me. Okay, I'd like to get a job at Disney World just to fuck with those people, okay? I'll be Mickey, I don't give a shit, all right? Anytime I see a millennial, I'll be like, hey, so you still fucking little pussy and get a job? You know, like I get in. <laughs> well, bitch. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> My dad's a tough guy, you know? Like he grew up with gangsters, like Italian gangsters, you know? It's funny to hear him talk about Chicago, right? Because he'll be like, people are getting shot, people are getting robbed, didn't used to be like that. I'm like, yeah, because back in the day, you guys were the ones doing it, okay? It's the same. <laughs> the only difference is the music, right? Like nowadays, people associate like gangster music with like rap music, like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, whoever else was in the Super Bowl, you know? Like, what? that's gangster <laughs> music, okay? When my dad was younger and he felt like a gangster, he'd have the windows rolled down. All you hear is, when the moon hits your eye like a... <laughs> Can you imagine getting shot in a drive-by? That's the last song you hear, okay? You're like my spleen, I'm bleeding out. Tippy, tippy, tay, tippy, tippy, tay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm tired of to places where you gotta tip now, where you didn't have to tip before. All right. Like I went to Subway the other day, and I, and I got to the end of the line, and they flipped the iPad on me. You ever have that? They flipped the iPad, and they're like, you want to leave a tip? I'm like, buddy, I just taught you how to make this whole fucking sandwich. What are we doing? I'm not tipping you, okay? <laughs> People are bringing their dogs everywhere. I don't, you know, listen, if you, if you have an ailment and you need a service dog, like, God bless you, okay? But I'm starting to question some of these service dogs that I'm seeing, okay? Like this little chihuahua with one leg, <laughs> shivering in the corner, okay? That's not a service dog, that's a wounded veteran, okay? Get that dog. <laughs> I like dogs too, but when I see the dog in the restaurant, I wanna, what? like I wanna do. <laughs> it's a joke, it's a joke. 
I'm biased though. I'm really biased, you know, because I don't like uh, I don't like dating a girl with a dog, you know. Like a girl with a dog, the dog's always like a cock block, you know. You go over to their place, the guy's he's like, who do you know here, man? Like you smell like olive oil. Like what's going on, dude? Right? Prefer a girl with a cat, right? Because a cat is just kind of like a creepy roommate, right? You go over there, it's like, hey, buddy, you can do whatever you want, but uh, I'm gonna watch. And you're like, okay, that's fine, buddy. Do your thing. <laughs> We drinking tonight, guys? We're drinking on a Wednesday. I love that. Nice. I'm an alcoholic. I, uh, I love a good drinking game, guys. Like, uh, you guys know that drinking game? We gotta roll the dice. You know what that was called? We roll the dice. Yeah. Drinking and driving. That's my favorite drinking game. I love that one. <laughs> it's a joke, Mike. I do love those billboards, though, where it's like you drink, you drive, you lose. It's like actually, I'm undefeated, Jack. Okay, nobody's caught me yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, guys. Don't, it's a joke. Don't drink and drive. Take an Uber. Take an Uber. You know. Sometimes I'm too drunk for the Uber, though. You know. <laughs> I got kicked out of an Uber the other day. My driver, he was Middle Eastern. And I love those guys because when they're mad at you, they're still respectful, right? He was like, buddy, please get out of my car, okay? You're my friend, but you're a bitch. Okay, you leave. God bless you, but fuck you. You have to go. It's like, hey. <laughs> You've been so drunk you get an Uber that's not even for you? I do that all the time, okay? When I'm drunk, guys, I talk to Uber drivers like an old prostitute, okay? Because I get in the car and they're like, hey man, are you Steven? And I go, honey, tonight I'll be whoever you want me to be. I right, just, take me somewhere, hot chat. Hey, we're gonna do a thing. I ran into my ex-girlfriend recently, ran into my ex-girlfriend, and uh, get, listen to this, she told me, she goes, when we were dating, she didn't think that I went down on her enough. I didn't go down, I didn't eat her out enough. And I was like, geez Louise, you know, like I wish you would've told me <laughs> while we were dating, you know? Cause I would've done it, okay? But I grew up in a blue collar, working class family, okay? I was raised to believe that the only time you go downtown to eat is when it's somebody's birthday. Okay guys, I don't, <laughs> It's a new one. I, uh, <laughs> Is anybody's birthday here tonight? <laughs> I'll see you after the show. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people look at me. They go, Luca, you're you're trying to be a comedian. Like you know, you you you, you know, live with your parents. You must be the biggest loser in your family. It's like actually no. I have a cousin trying to be a rapper, so I have him be. <laughs> okay. You know how hard it is to be a rapper in an Italian-American family, okay? Right? Like, my family, when they see me, they'll bust my balls. They'll be like, hey, Luca, tell us a joke. Come on, funny guy, tell us a joke. When they see my cousin, they take it a step further. They'll grab him. They'll be like, hey, hey, boy. They'll grab strangers off the street. They'll be like, hey, sir, sir, do you know who Eminem is? You know Eminem? This is Skittles right here. You know Skittles? <laughs> the little rap Skittles. <laughs> I feel bad for my cousin, dude, because he's putting videos online of him being like, you know, yo, bitch, yo, ho, you know? I'm like, dude, like, he's got to get a job soon, you know what I mean? Like, when employers Google that, they're gonna see that, you know what I mean? I told him, like, you should start rapping about your resume, right? You know, like, at least that'd be better if he was like, yo, I'm up in the club with my girl, she's sexy as hell, but also I'm very proficient in Microsoft Excel. Like, that would be... <laughs> Hey, uh, weed's legal, are we pot smokers in here? Yeah, all right, yeah, that's nice. I, uh, I like smoking weed, but I think we made a mistake, guys. I think we have to make pot illegal again. I think we have to do that. I just think we're living in a backwards world, you know? Like, uh, like I went to one of these dispensaries the other day. I have never received better customer service in my entire life. Have you been They're like, hi, how are you? What are you looking for? Can I recommend something for you? So welcoming, okay? On the way back, I stopped at McDonald's in the drive-thru, the guy's like, what you looking for, my man? I'm like, why does this feel more like the drug deal than the actual drug deal? It doesn't make... <laughs> and everybody's high now, nah, okay? I went to Target. I'm like, hey man, you know where the milk is? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think we fucked it up, guys, all right? I think we have to make pot illegal, cocaine legal. That's how we have to do it, okay? All right, that guy really wants to, he's cool with it. 
I don't care what marijuana does for your anxiety, what it does for you mentally. I just think shit would get done more efficiently if all potheads were cokeheads. You know? Go to that same target. Hey, buddy, you know where the milk is? Yeah, milk right over here, buddy, right this way, yeah. Want a cow? Get your cow. You can milk me if you want. Uh, guys, uh, my name is Luca Farrell. God bless you. Have a great evening. Give it up for that handsome devil, everybody. Holy smokes. You can follow him on Instagram, at Luca Farrell Comedy. The guy's hilarious.